made of might, and I'm super stoked for today's episode. Do you know why? Because today, we're going to be delving in the realm of the Dragonborn and making a kick-ass helmet fit for dragon slaying and taking their souls and shouting at them. <laughs> Anyways, I am a super huge Elder Scrolls fan. It's probably one of my, like, top three video games of all time is Skyrim itself. Uh, but definitely about that Morrowind and Oblivion life too, but Skyrim was the game that blew my mind and still to this day does. I love it. Amazing. Perfect game, in my opinion. Humble. Anyways, we're going to take this amazing helmet. It's a little, a little big. I think it fits great. We're going to take this helmet and we're going to make it a little bit more um, realistic and cool and from the game and fit for dragon slaying. Like I said, I brought my battle axe just in case any dragons happen to pop up. I don't know, I tend to attract them. But uh, let's get started. Super excited. Who all's here? Hello, Megan. Hello, Jake and Matthew and Mike and Tiffany. If you guys are in the chat, say hello. Write a comment. And I want to know, so one of the things the dragonborns are famous for are their magical shouts that do various things depending on what it is you shout. So if you were Dragonborn, what would your shout be? What would you want to shout at dragons? Tell me, I wanna know. Comment something. But we're gonna start by taking a pretty large paintbrush and some silver paint. And we are going to dry brush a little bit of paint on the silver bits of our helmet. So we're just dry brushing it because I honestly like this like gun metally dark gray sort of uh, paint that we have and we don't want it too bright silver but you definitely want it to look a little bit more metallic which is why we're just dry brushing it but not globbing it on just a very very light layer all over these sections. Dry brushing, woohoo. It's like using a paintbrush that's dry. It's exactly what it is actually. Guys, so let's see. Hello, we have more people. Let's see. <laughs> Jake Zimmerman says that a couple named their kid Dovakin, and Bethesda gave them a bunch of free products. Would you name your child after a video game franchise to get a bunch of free video games? I don't know. Dovakin's actually kind of a really cool name, but I think I'd name like my dog that, not my child. <laughs> Although I have joked that my firstborn girl is going to be named Bethesda, purely because it's a glorious, glorious name. Ooh, just dry brushing it on here. But you can kind of see how this uh, silver paint gives it more of a metallic glow without taking away that rustic look. So it's kind of, I'm trying to find the light. There's no light. <laughs> there, there we go. It's kind of metallic-y, but still kind of like rustic and, and grody looking. Because this Dragonborn has seen some stuff, man. He's been through it. All of the dragons. So let's see. Lee asks, hello, what the heck is this? I ask myself that every day, Lee. What the heck am I doing? Um, I am painting, this is the helmet the signature helmet of the Dragonborn, the Dovahkiin from Skyrim, which is an Elder Scrolls game by Bethesda. If you don't know what it is and you like video games, I highly recommend playing this one. This video game blew my mind. I mean, Bethesda's been blowing my mind for a long time, but Skyrim was the game that made me just like love games so much. I have the symbol of Akatosh on my car if I liked you know, planned on getting a tattoo, I would probably get the symbol of Akatosh tattooed on my body. I'm crazy. But I, I don't, I probably won't ever get a tattoo. I'm a wiener. Let's face it. Take a while. So yeah, just dry brushing this. It, I mean, it's such a simple, like, step, but it adds just so much more dimension to the helmet. You can see this side I have painted and this side I haven't. And it already looks so much more like realistic and metally. Not painted, painted. Not painted, painted. But just like dip your brush in very, very light and 
you, you do not need a lot. You still want to keep all that texture because if you put too much paint, you're going to ruin all the natural texture in this helmet, which is really amazing already. So you don't want to have it like too saturated in silver, just enough to give it that metal look. So we're going to be doing a lot of dry brushing today. A lot of dry brushing. But look, it just pops all the details. Like right here. I'll do this section down here. So you can see. It totally just pops our details. Makes everything look real cool. Without saturating it. Look at that. So metally. Real metal. Whoa! So cool. Hey, yeah. What's up, Law? Thought. Oh. And I think I'm gonna name my first son Crash Bandicoot. Oh, okay. Law's gonna name his firstborn son Crash Bandicoot. I think Bethesda's a little cooler of a name, but whatever. I'm gonna call him. Ba I, I would call him Bandy for short, but I think I'm just calling him Coot. Coot. Coot, come here. Coot. <laughs> What do you think? I think that, I mean, is right on the money. Like, Perfect. I'm so sick of Britney's and Jason's. I want a Crash Bandicoot. All one word, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. And uh, hopefully Sony will send me like um, tiny polar bears. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> uh, Danny says his would be Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! But do it like Skyrim style. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! Nice. I that don't have a deep voice. Super different. And I'm not very loud. I have to crank my mic. I'm the quietest human. <laughs> quietest human. I'd be a terrible dragonborn just because I cannot shout worth my weight in salt. So, does that make sense? Yeah, it's fine. We're, we're fine. But yeah, look at that. Oh, so here's the back. So look at that, all matte and gross. And look at the front. It's so shiny and metal now. The most metal. Dull and boring. Metal as heck. So, there we go, guys. You can see it just transform in front of your eyes. So metal. And it doesn't have to be even at all. Like, we want this to look very battle worn. And the key to that is making it look organic and making it look really natural. Like, what would actually happen if you got hit in the head with a sword? This, this would happen. A sword or or maybe a battle axe, perhaps? A really righteous battle axe. That's dry brushing forever. And like you could tell this te technique is not taking a lot of effort and it's not taking very long. You can do this on all sorts of different props um, just to give it a little bit more of a realistic feel. You can use this on foam, all sorts of materials. Yeah, so cool. But what's up? Who all is in any of this chat? Hello from the UK. You're pretty far away. Do you have any dragons in England? Or UK, I guess it could be any place else. In the United Kingdom? I'm pretty sure they get offended by that question. Do you have dragons? Ooh, ooh, he's still what? asking it, huh? Is that offensive? Nah, dragons are cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, just so many people. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub is the best shout I've seen so far. But let's see. <laughs> Abdul says, you are very...
voice? I think like maybe I just shouted too hard because I am a Dovahkiin, I am a Dragonborn, and I busted everything. That's probably it. But uh, we're doing the same technique um, that we have been doing with the silver, but with this off-white. We're using off-white because it looks a little bit more uh, natural and organic and like bony, like a sun-bleached bone that's also covered in dirt and blood. That's what we're going for. So again, we're just taking a brush and we're just dry brushing it. Like I told you guys, there's gonna be a lot of dry brushing this episode. A lot of dry brushing. Can you guys hear my beautiful voice? I'm so excited. I love Ernesto's comment. Have you tried turning it on and off again? We did, we turned it off. Oh, and on, on and off again a bunch and it worked. You're welcome, Ernesto. Or thank you, Ernesto, for that amazing suggestion. <laughs> Boom, look at that. Doesn't that look grody and bony now? Grody, grody and look bony. Not, Hashtag grody and not bony. Grody and bony. Grody and bony. Look at it. It's coming to life. It is coming to life. It's like a dragonborn hill. Dragonborn. <laughs> okay, careful. You don't want to you don't want to scream into Abdul's ears anymore. Oh, that's right. I'm so sorry for shouting too too hard and, and screwing everything up. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what my, my shout would probably be something like, I'm really sleepy! <laughs> no, yours would probably be wieners. Wieners! Yeah. Wieners everywhere! Wieners everywhere! Show me the butts! <laughs> ah, yeah. Do you have an Instagram account for this cool cosplay stuff? I do have an Instagram account. My Instagram account is made of might. M-A-I-D as in maiden of might. You can check out my... Instagram and also a lot of my movie mods are on my Instagram still by like little videos and stuff so you can learn how to cosplay too. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, what is a cosplay? Publishing. What is cosplay? Cosplay is this awesome thing where you like make costumes and dress up as your favorite characters. It's kind of like Halloween all the time. It's awesome. Wow, that sounds like a lot of candy. Oh man, I love candy. Dang it, now I'm hungry again. I love candy. Halloween is like pretty, pretty soon. Yeah, it's pretty it's soon. the next holiday, right? As a right? cosplayer, do you have trouble finding something to, to wear on Halloween? As a cosplayer, I actually wear the most basic of basic costumes that I've ever basic mm. Because I spend my entire year wearing cool stuff. I get to wear like a slutty Halloween costume on Halloween, damn it. Same. Store-bought shenanigans. Same, yeah, yeah. Pa? Do you wear a slutty Halloween costume, too? Yeah, last year I was a sexy McDonald's employee. Sexy McDonald's employee. I mean, every McDonald's employee is sexy, so how would you make it sexier? I didn't have anything but the apron on. Oh, nothing but the, the apron. And the visor. I had visor. And then I also added some oil burns for accuracy. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Brittany Wilson wants you to be a guest at Fayetteville Comic Con in North Carolina. North Carolina? You have to come back from Ecuador first. I'd be down. That's right, I'm going to Ecuador tomorrow. Yes, tell us about that. I'm super excited. I'm going to Comic Con Ecuador tomorrow. Haven't packed yet. Don't think about it. <laughs> you know what the key is to packing for a big trip like that? What is the key? Buy everything there. Buy everything there. Hopefully everything is kind of cheap there. We'll, we'll see. Just the guinea pigs. Just the guinea pigs. The delicious guinea pigs. I don't think I'm gonna try any guinea pig while I'm there. Sad to say. Stuart's crying, but it also looks like he's laughing. So crying? Like... Laughing? <laughs> Guys, what would you shout if you were a dragonborn? Tell me. Wubble up dub dub is winning. Do you want Wubble up dub dub to win? So tell me your shouts. Bam! Look at those like bony bones. It's so cool. <laughs> Grody and Boney is a good shout. Grody and Boney. Grody and Boney! Yeah, see, you liked it. It's like my high school nickname. Your <laughs> high school... <laughs> God. Oh, man. Uh, all right, guys, so now you can see we have silver and bone color, but now we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna do a little bit of rust. Rust, because why would we have a clean, beautiful helmet? This show's all about destroying things. 
gonna rust stuff up and I'm gonna teach you how. Cause rust is cool, bro. But just in case I screw it all up, we're gonna start on the back. <laughs> all right. So you're just so mixing orange and brown acrylic paint? Yes, brown. Okay, so this is gonna be really fun. We're gonna start with like this area here. I'm gonna put a little bit, you wanna use a dry brush and like test it out a little bit. So first you start with black. Brick. Nice black base. It's gonna be a super black rusty base. panel. We borrowed your axe. You borrowed my axe? Yeah, what did we, you do with it? There were, you don't really want to know. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, fair enough. And then we cleaned it. you put down some brown. A little brown. That was my catchphrase in high school. A little put brown. down some brown. Oh, put down some brown. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit more black. And you don't want it to look like you're doing it on purpose. You want it to look very organic as well. So like no rhyme or reason, just stipple it on wherever. You can kind of see how it's black and brown right there. I need like a, a light directly on the shield, so, or on the helmet. This is a helmet. So you have, boom. Brown and black on our metal. There we go, right there. And then, this is the kicker. This is gonna seem really weird, but stay with me. We're gonna put some orange, some bright orange. Bright acrylic orange. And you just blend it in. Can you see that? See how rusty that looks? Wow. I know, you're blown away. The kicker is this bright orange. I that swear looks, it looks way cooler yeah, in real life. Yeah, the corner looks straight out of the game now. Like what, kind of, what kind of bones do you use to make horns? What kind of bones do people use to make those horns? I would imagine ram's horns. I would say wampa. Wampas? But yeah, look at this. Look at this rusty corner. <laughs> rusty, so rusty. But now that I know that it works, we'll do the front. Jess, it's William's birthday. It's William's birthday. Happy birthday, William. Birthdays are so important. Brittany Wilson says her shout would just be a loud, meaty whine. Like, <laughs> Money, please. Money, please. So rusty. But just literally no rhyme or reason, just everywhere. And now we do some brown. The Skyrim blacksmith who made this is like, I told you not to put it in water. No I don't know why rust. he's rushed. I like it though. A little it's bit of brown. It's rust, but you have to take care of it, Jess. And you, and you want this to be like, it's okay if they're like mixing, because you want them to mix. Because when they blend, it looks a lot more organic and cool, like rust. See, you're like, whoa, what's that orange? Why are you putting bright orange? That seems stupid. I'm like, no, just wait. Look, you blend it, and it looks like rust. So rusty. Rusty as heck. because I've been fighting dragons for a very long time in Skyrim. So my helmet is kind of rusty. And then you can even put a little bit more of your metallic if you want to like break it up a little bit. And be like, no, it's not actually that rusty, just a little rusty. Boom. Old and rusty and disgusting. Yeah. This is so fun. I'm just gonna go home and make everything rusty. Wow, this is my brand new car. How'd it rust already? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that rust spot. 
Kevin says, can you remake it again in a month or so? Call it the special edition and port it onto the Switch. Oh my god, yes. Honey. Bless. <laughs> hey, shots fired. Nintendo's heck of mad now. Dang. <laughs> Martha says, that's art. Thank you. She yelled it at you. Maybe that's her scream too. So arty! Your shout. AJ yeah. Zyla says hi. He was our winner of our last unbox. What? What's That's that? cool. AJ? I never win anything. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I don't enter anything, so maybe that's why. Boom! Look at that, you guys. Can you see the rust spots? Does it look old and weathered and dragonborny? See, look at that rust on the back. Oh, so old. So battle worn. This is the coolest. But yeah, you just kind of like stipple it on. And you can even like put some of this brown orange mixture. Like you don't have to do it in spots either. You can just kind of like stipple it around so that everything's a little bit more weathered. And now another trick, we're not going to use it for this, but it would be something that maybe you'd use for like fallout if you're weathering something for fallout. If you wanted a patina on something, like a rust and a patina, you would literally just add teal add teal on top of this and then it would be like a really pretty patina as well. But yeah, just kind of... Hey, Jess, Stuart yeah. has a question. What's up, Stuart? He says, which dragons would win? Skyrim dragons or the dragons that belong to Khaleesi? Definitely Khaleesi's dragons because Skyrim's dragons, sometimes I can like one shot kill with an arrow. And I'm like, well, that wasn't actually as hard as I thought it'd be. So I mean, definitely oh, Khaleesi's mind. dragons. That's what I would go with. Andrew Defoe asks, it would Booyah be a good shout? Let's Booyah! Try it. Try it oh, sorry. Booyah! Booyah! Yeah, that you see that? Whoa. So I'm concentrating some of our rust on like, there's a bunch of scratches pre-molded um, into this helmet. So I'm just going to take a little bit of our rust mixture and like put it on some of these little scratches. Jess is only working on the helmet right now. I think she's going to do the horns next, guys. Yes, I am. if you're going to put blood or a brown wash over it. I am definitely going to work on the horns next, but right now we're just focusing on the metal. Stop skipping ahead, guys. You guys are very intuitive, though. I appreciate that. But yeah, I'm going to, I mean, all of these places where there are, are cuts in the helmet are probably going to get rusty and gross because now they're exposed. Boom. So rusty and disgusting. I'm going to put a bunch of rust around his eye holes where the tears would be falling. <laughs> For every dragon I kill, I shed many tears. A thousand tears. I used to be an adventurer until I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> really Did hurt. you know? <laughs> that taking an arrow to the knee actually means getting married in Norse culture. Really? So a lot of people were That's like, really funny. taking an arrow to the knee, what an idiot. It actually means getting married, which kind of makes sense. I've been an advent, I used to be an adventurer and then I got married and my wife's like, hold up, time to raise some goats or whatever, <laughs> be a town guard instead. But yeah, just kind of like wash it randomly Nothing in battle is like cookie cutter perfect. You just put it wherever. Put it wherever. Boom. Look at all that dimension we have now. Wow. So next we're going to take a little bit of black paint and we're going to put even more dimension in our helmet. Make a little bit of black paint. And now, you just kind of want to highlight all of the details. So we're just dry brushing some black paint into the details. You guys can see all this fun stuff. What up? I'm just here to have the axe and look cool next to you. I mean, I need somebody to hold my axe. You could be my squire. Oh, I don't like that. I, I want to be something cooler. You could be my horse. 
Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll be the horse. I was just coming here to help you take a break to see if you needed some help. If you wanted me to chop anything. I mean, I have some like melons that need slicing. Could do you do that? Do we actually have melons? Is that a real thing that's happening? Are we going to take? Are we going to take melons to this axe? Axe to this melons? I would not be opposed. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look. I'm gonna look over your comments Pina? right now. Oh yeah, who's in the chat? So they they like that. <laughs> Ernesto said, "Sorry, I'm not actually mad that you asked about the brown wash. I think it was." Oh oh, was it Ernesto? <laughs> yeah. Oh hi Ernesto. <laughs> he said it's educational, which is nice. Yeah, that's what my show is, you guys. This is education. This isn't just derping around. Yeah, my, that's what I do is just the derping around part, but. Um, but Jess is actually doing work, which is nice. He, yeah, doing, work. Doing, doing the Lord's work. The Dragon Lord. Dra I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, tell us everything that you know about Skyrim. Oh my god, that's a lot. That could take like a lot of time. Are you excited about Dra Elder Scrolls Six? I am really excited. Like, tell crazy. I'm, I don't know. When, okay, so when the Game Informer magazine came out, Game Informer. Right? Back? The back in the in day. In the day. And it got to my apartment. I cried. Oh. It had the symbol of Akatosh on it. And I literally cried. Because <laughs> you were I was so, so excited that there was a, the new Elder Scrolls game. And I still have the Game Informer to this day. Wow. On my bookshelf or whatever. And because now. I was so emotional. But do you know where, do you think you know where the next Elder Scrolls game is going to take place? I haven't really researched a lot of it. I'm kind of love surprises. Yeah, it looks like I, a big secret I right loved, now. you know, that they took us into a new realm for Skyrim that was kind of like the northern area mm -hmm. of the world. So I'm wondering, are we going to get maybe a taste of like the southern parts of the world? Like somewhere, you know, warmer climate, maybe mm. some like sand or deserts or something. Maybe it's like uh, almost like Roller Coaster Tycoon and you have to help set up an amusement park in the Skyrim universe. I, I mean, I'm, I'm down. That's probably what it is. Although I was a Zoo Tycoon fan myself. A Zoo 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 Tycoon. Zoo Tycoon. Zoo Tycoon. Casey says, awesome. Muhammad, I don't know what you're saying, but I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> They really want blood. Martha wants blood on the horns. Were you planning to put blood or were you just going to From do like my own wrists. No. <laughs> I actually don't have any blood with me. But I do have red paint that maybe we could make look like blood. Maybe. Because, Last time yeah. you were here, you did uh, Raven. Raven's I did. Belt. Yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions for what Justin mod next or Yeah, create, what do you want to see, you guys? Yeah, do we have any other fun ideas already planned for your next return? I believe next time we are going to be celebrating Spider-Man oh, because never heard the of game because the game is coming out. <laughs> the game is coming out on PS4. I'm so excited. Yeah. Are you bringing any Spider characters to Ecuador? I am. I'll be Spider Gwen one of the days. Or Spider Gwen. Spooder Spooder Ghost Blue. Spider. Ghost Spider Ghost. Spider Ghost. Ghost Spider in the shell. <laughs> I don't think that's it either. No, probably not. Cool. So this looks really great up close. I'm getting to Thank see all you. the details. Are you just like putting like dark paint in like the divots here? I am. So I am highlighting mm -hmm. all of these really cool details we have, like the back of uh, this like line thing here and like this lip and stuff. And literally all you do to highlight this kind of stuff is you take some black paint and you stick it in the thing and then you just kind of move it outwards. Oh my God, there's fake blood. Ooh, there's oh fake blood. Oh my God, blood. you guys. Your dreams are about to come true. Should I open it? Yeah, open it. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe. I think that's working. Maybe we'll try next time. People are really enjoying this episode. They're saying that you're super helpful. They're excited to meet a new cosplayer. Heck yeah. Alice is so cool. Love the craftsmanship on the helmet on this one. Where's the helmet from? I think X Cosair, right? I believe so. We got yeah. it on Amazon. It actually Woo! came in three separate pieces. Oh, uh, snap. But with a little bit of uh, heat and a little bit of love, we were able to make it horned up. I tried to avoid saying yep. a different, mm -hmm. a different uh, phrase. Yep. I was going to go there, but then I decided not to. But yeah, nope. we're just, just taking black paint. 
Doc says, I'm pumped for the Spider-Man game. Super News yes. Live says, Law, be careful with that axe. You don't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad anymore. Any anymore? Yeah, we had some legal issues. Oh, oh, is that is that so? <laughs> I just You just left? I just left. You're like, you know what? I'm done. They I do. wanna live on my own. I'm sixteen now. They want us to open this with a fake axe. Fake axe? That axe is real, my friend. Oh, the fake blood with a real axe. This is a very real axe. This is actually really dangerous. I should be more careful. Let's Probably. be real here. But yeah, just putting some... This is also a technique you could use on like any armor that you're making. Like start from the inside and work your way up. Shading and shadowing and shenanigans. And messing it up. If yeah. You wanted to, if you wanted to rhyme the same word with the same word. You're so good at this law. I mean, you're just amazing. Why am I even here? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't, I, I'm just trying to open this fake blood, but only with my axe. Only with the axe? This is gonna be a real mess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave now. You've done me a solid by opening my fake blood. Yes, I, I almost closed it right back up, but <laughs> it's open. We're just gonna, yeah, we're just, you did, a, you did good. You did good, pig. You did good. <laughs> pig! <laughs> Haven't you ever seen Babe? Yes. Um, Spider Pig is actually played by John Mulaney. Who's that? He's a stand-up comedian. Oh, he'll probably be a good yeah, Spider Pig. Yeah, he's playing Spider-Ham in the new Spider-Verse, Into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales movie. Hell yeah. And then yeah. Nick Cage is playing Spider-Man Noir. Which yes, is interesting. I've heard that. I just actually saw or heard Nick Cage in the Teen Titans Go movie. I just saw that. It was actually really good. It was super good. I was pleasantly surprised. I was expecting the worst. Yeah. Boom, look at our helmet, you guys. Now we have like dimension in the black color. We have some rust. We have some shine with Ooh. the metallic underlay that I added. Wow. Look at that. And now, Ernesto, thanks for being patient. <laughs> we're going to wash our horns in brown. Have some. Actually, we're using, we're not using brown, we're using tan because brown, I don't know, is a little too dark and might muddle this, but tan is like slightly off from this like bone color we used. So we're gonna try that first to make it look all dirty and disgusting because that's what we do on the show. And we can use our fun dry brush that we've been using this whole time. You guys go to Michael's and invest in some like really cheap brushes. You don't need nice brushes for this sort of thing. By any means. How, what's the most expensive brush you've ever purchased? The most expensive, makeup brushes. Really? Makeup brrushes are, like are really expensive. Like they could be up to like $70. No, I yes. don't like that. Go to Sephora, look at the brushes. They have a lot of like really expensive ones. So bony. So bony. Heck yeah. Brittany Wilson says, it's good to hear that he was good in the movie because I don't like Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> so he's yeah, she's a John Travolta fan. I dug, I dug the movie, the Teen Titans movie. I thought it was really good. All right, so we're washing it with a little bit of brown. You can kind of see how this now looks a little like dirty and has a lot more dimension where this one is still kind of flat. Yeah. So we'll do this on this side. Just making things look like bone. The theme music is actually a really important part when you're modding things. You have to like sing your own theme music or it's never gonna turn out right. If you had Skyrim on your Alexa, like that old parody trailer that they released, would you play it all the time? I probably would get nothing done. <laughs> Because I'm like, well, this is so readily available. Why would I do anything? You'd be doing a lot. You say I it. haven't gotten it for my Switch. Oh, just nice. because then I could take it everywhere. And that's a bad idea because I have things I need to get done. Yeah. <laughs> and like if playing I could, the game. If I could bring Skyrim everywhere, I would just never get anything done. But the first thing I always do in any Oblivion, or Oblivion, Elder Scrolls game, 
is I join the Thieves Guild and I get my sneak and my lockpick up to 100 because why would you go into all those juicy dungeons with all them chests and things without having like the ability to rob everything? It just doesn't make any sense. All right, guys, now we're going to take some dark brown and we're going to just put it on the tips, just the tip, just the tip, because this is the part that gets the most action, just the tip. Okay, guys. Still using our dry brush. There we go. Boom. See the difference? <coughs> this one's all dirty on the bottom. It looks all worn out and nasty. And then this one's all clean and pretty. We're going to change that. Yeah. I ran out of brown paint. Hold on a second. Boom. Nate Marshall says, I need to live in your brain and take lessons from you. Live in my brain? You wouldn't want to live in my brain. I've seen some shit, man. So many wieners. So many wieners? What? Oh, I guess. <laughs> she goes, I guess. <laughs> I get a lot of unsolicited uh, pictures of hot dogs. <laughs> Ernesto is laughing, crying. <laughs> Brittany Wilson says, Nate, same. They just all want to live in your brain. Well, this is why we have movie mods, so that you can pretend for a day that you kind of live in my brain. Welcome to Brain of Might. Brain of Might. <laughs> a live stream of everything Jess is thinking. Oh man, you won't want to know what I'm thinking about. A lot of spaghetti. A I'm lot really of spaghetti. Hungry. Spaghetti. <gasps> I have a burrito, a like, potato burrito actually sitting over there. I'm thinking about that a bunch. I'm thinking about my cats, thinking about cuddling my cats. That's always on my brain. My little dragons. On Mother's Day, I posted a picture of me and my cats. Because <laughs> I'm that person. <laughs> All right, guys, look at that. See how dirty and disgusting these horns are? Perfect. And now, for our finishing touch, as you all have requested, I'm just gonna drench it in blood. Just kidding. But I am gonna put some blood on there. <laughs> I should sell this plate as like modern art. Look at all this bloody blood. It's actually really gross. But we're gonna put it on the tip of our horns like like we, we stabbed somebody. Murder. With the bloods, with the thing, and like maybe like he killed somebody. Maybe he stabbed himself on accident, because that's what I would do. Do you see the blood? It's so gross. Yeah. It's actually just kind of mixing with the paint, and, <laughs> and now it just looks pink. <laughs> Whatever, it was great. Well, actually there is one other step that I forgot about, other than this blood that you guys have wanted so readily. This is because of you. This is for you. There's bloody horns. I wasn't gonna get that violent. To made me do it. <laughs> oh, girl. That is, that is kind of cool though. Bloody disgusting horns. <laughs> but the last thing I'm gonna do that I totally forgot about is taking some silver rub and buff because in the game, uh, these Horn, these little guys, what are they? Bolts? Rivets. Things. Rivets. Little, little guys are actually like super duper bright silver. Like super de duper, de duper bright silver. So we are going to make them silver using our rub and buff, which is the best invention ever because it's so quick and easy. But we're just going to highlight the tops of our little rivet guys with the rub and buff, which makes sense because the highest points of your helmet are gonna be the most worn out because they're the things that touch. Oh, I just got blood on my hands. This is your fault. Gross. Anyways, uh, the things that are the highest points are gonna be the most worn out because they're the things that's gonna be, like scrape against 
the most stuff. So all of these like high points, all of the rivets, we're gonna make bright and silver. So they've been scraped in battle by the bones of our enemies and dragons, because always dragons. So many dragons. And you could even just put it, just wash it a little bit on like the highest points of your helmet and stuff, just because those are gonna be the most wear and tear. When you are fighting dragons. And it seems counterintuitive to have something so shiny on such a dull helmet, but when you wear out metal and you're constantly like bumping it, it's gonna get shiny. So there we go. So shiny. Boom! Look at us go, you guys. We did this together. It was mostly me, but you also <laughs> helped. <laughs> Boom! Pretty cool. I need to figure out my shout. I don't have, what, what should I shout, you guys? What should I shout? Exploding chickens. Best mode ever. Have you guys ever seen the Skyrim My Little Ponies mod? Where they mod, like you can put an overlay where the dragons are My Little Ponies. Nice. <laughs> and you could kill Fluttershy. I'd kill Rainbow Dash. You kill Rainbow Dash? That's rude. Immediately. Oh my gosh. Well, anyways, guys, this is my amazing helmet. Do you think maybe we should have Law model it? You want me to put it on? I think so. Oh, but God. first, why don't we check out the last movie mod that I did as Raven from Teen Titans. Why don't we check that out now? Look at this. You're gonna, you're gonna so excite. Are you gonna are we gonna put yeah, this on put, lock? You could put it on my head. My head's really big, so it'll probably fit this big old helmet. This does not fit me. Yeah. I am not a Viking warrior. We've discussed this before. We could try though. Here. Ready? Okay. Dun 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 dun. Huh. <laughs> does it work? <laughs> Did Almost. I get it? It's like there we go. <laughs> oh, dragons! All right, I'm Watch a dragon. Out. I'm gonna be a dragon. Ready? Okay. Wait, I want a bow and arrow. Specifically, Rainbow Dash. Take my soul. Take it. Now, okay. now you have power. How do they take souls in this? Just stand there. Got it. Yeah. Now, now shout, shout. <laughs> God, there's blood on me. Fearsome. That's that's the viewer's fault. This blood. Yep, it's pretty gross. But. Um, did we choose a favorite shout? I think mine's gonna be like, I'm craving chicken nuggets! I'm craving chicken nuggets! <laughs> That's a good one. And then favorite, I think, uh, favorite audience member one was probably Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! Yeah, bah, bah, bah. Now, this is all wibbly wobbly, and I think we could fix that by putting like, what, foam inside? Yeah, you can put foam, you can put tissue paper, whatever you want inside. There we go. You can put your hands. Look, Mom, I did it. You can put like Living in and out dreams. burgers. I'm really hungry, you guys. <laughs> the thing. But yes. Oh man, there's blood everywhere, guys. I'm a it's dragon. Just dripping. I'm a dragon. That's right. All right. Well, well, this is super news live. Oh man, it's really smoky and dragony in here. Sorry, my fire breath. What happened? Oh man, it's sweaty and hot. But <laughs> thanks for joining us today on Movie Mods. You saw her mod this awesome uh, Dragonborn helmet, and next time she's coming back with something Spider-Man related, 
couple weeks, right? Ready, yes. You need to travel safely to Ecuador. I'm super excited. Comic Con Ecuador if you're in Ecuador. I might bring this with me. This would probably help, right? Yeah, maybe wipe the right? blood yep. off before you get on the plane. I think I'm gonna add more. Oh, good. Just put it on your mouth too. Yeah. Cool. We'll be back tomorrow at noon. Richard's gonna be turning himself into a vampire. Oh, and he's really good at I have it. some blood. Yeah, well, this blood is not gone. Yeah. We'll be back all week with the blood, people. Tune in. Bye, guys! Bye. Oh, are you guys still watching? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, well, you should probably then tune in each and every day at noon to Super News Live. So that's tomorrow because we're like, we're done here. So you can leave, but come back tomorrow. But like, leave, but come back tomorrow. I'm gonna leave. Who am I kidding? I don't have anywhere to go.